lot of good lubricants out there for gas blow back guns, but there are also a lot of really bad ones. Um, when you see on eBike, you can find like silicone spray. A lot of the uh, 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 airsoft store channels have silicone spray being used as a lubricant for the mechanical parts, which it's not even good for the, the O-ring and shit like that. The, the rubber parts that you want compression on. I'll get to that later. Um, and it's, it's not a good lubricant. Silicone spray is not a good lubricant. Doesn't matter if it has Teflon in a PTFE or whatever, it, it doesn't do, it doesn't have a, a thick enough viscosity, a, a, a base oil viscosity to provide adequate protection for the parts. They, most of these spray silicone solutions don't even have, if you look at the data sheet, they don't have a base oil viscosity rating. Their, their, their um, four ball tests are atrocious, like a 0.80 millimeter scar compared to Greece, which has a, you, a, a generally around like a 0.40 and it flashes off too quick. It doesn't have the staying power needed for the highest stress parts on a, on a gas rifle or pistol. Mostly the bolt catch, which is probably the hardest wearing part along with the triggers and the hammer, um, the points where they meet up. That's a really high wear part too. And let me give you an example of this that I'm talking about. This is a Permatex uh, lubricant with PTFE. I think this is a grease based lubricant. So, this isn't quite what I'm talking about. I don't actually have any silicone oil or spray products. I've thrown those out a long time ago. But I wouldn't even use this. It's just a spray on solution. It's not a grease, it doesn't have the staying power or the base oil viscosity needed to adequately protect the parts. You can throw this in the trash. Now what I would recommend is something like this. This is oh, upside down. This is called Stoplex uh, Style Lube Extreme Pressure Premium Red Grease and it has a very high base oil viscosity I think around 250, which is kind of on the med medium medium to low end for a grease that you want on the bolt stop or the slide catch of your gun. Um, I would recommend the Mobile One Mine series. That's a good one. I think the the base oil viscosity on that is about 380. Maybe I'm off by like 10 or 20. It, it's in, it's in the high 300s. That's what you want. And a really good way to test a grease that you're going to put on a gun is take a scrap uh, like a scrap gun and spray paint the slide stop and where it meets up on the slide with the slide stop spray paint that apply the grease to the parts while they're still curing and hardening and see if it protects it this stuff has I spray painted uh, my 1911 slide catch and the uh, slide the part where it meets up and there was I, I racked it locked it back, and then I released it maybe 20 times. On a regular gun using silicone spray, that part would have all the paint missing within that cycle. But the, the, this grease here protected it sufficiently. There was only just a little bit of paint wearing off, and the paint was still curing. Anybody who spray paints regularly knows how weak and sensitive that finish is, especially within the first 20 minutes. That's a very weak time for the paint. So something like a high pressure grease with a really high base oil viscosity is what you want for the mechanical parts however it's not something I'd recommend for plastic because it has petroleum distillates in it um, if you get a full synthetic grease it's a different story you can put that on plastic I wouldn't quite put it on rubber because you'd be better off with a, a high vacuum silicone grease instead to help with compression put this down so That's my spiel. If you have to take anything from this video, it would be don't use silicone oil as a mechanical part lubricant in your gas blowback or gas blowback pistols, rifles, bolt pistols, submachine guns, whatever. Um, they don't have 
the staying power, and they don't have the high base oil viscosity. And base oil viscosity is especially important because it's related directly to the uh, the shear uh, resistance, the, the shearing resistance. So like when you when you activate the slide lock on a pistol, that's a shearing action. It's going to, you know, two flat surfaces are going to move together and it's going to move the grease away. But if the grease is thick enough, there's still going to be that film oil layer protecting the parts after contact. And that's really the key, the key feature that you want to look for in a grease when you're looking for something that will protect the parts. Um, slide stop wear is especially common even on real 1911s um, and those parts are a lot stronger than the die cast metals we see on a, a Tokyo Marui or a KJW pistol. It's, go it's a good quality die cast part but it's not quite strong enough on its own to resist wear. So I think I've covered everything. I think you guys have the uh, the information now to make a good, educated decision on what kind of grease you want to use. I think I've done my job here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day.